Hello, my name is Michelle and I'm the course leader for GCSE and Functional Skills Maths at the College. Now I know that when you start college with us, you'll all hope not to have to revisit your GCSE Maths. But if you do need to, then the College Maths Department offers a range of suitable courses. So it's another chance to get the Grade 4 that we know is so important to everyone. For future careers and jobs, employers are always keen uh, to look for young people who show that they have good uh, number skills. And at the Maths Department, we offer several options. So whether you're looking to uni or employment after college, here's what we offer. The first option is called the Accelerated Course. This is if you believe that the Grade 3 you got was a high Grade 3, and you are predicted to get a Grade 4 throughout Years 10 and 11. You achieved lots of past papers and practice papers, mostly at Grade 4. This is a revision course. You will resit the exams in November. After November, there will also be the opportunity to study for a second qualification called Functional Skills Level 2. This is a vocational qualification and is considered equivalent to the Grade 4 at GCSE by many employers. If the accelerated course isn't for you, then the next option is called our Year Foundation course. This is suitable if you find maths quite, quite challenging, or you feel you've got gaps in your knowledge for whatever reason, or you're lacking in confidence at where your mathematics is. But we're, obviously, we still need to improve our GCSE grade from our current three to a four. So we'll take the GCSE exams in June, so we'll work through most of the topics again throughout the year. Next, we consider those of you who have got a grade two in your GCSE mathematics. The course we do for you is a level two functional skills course. Now, this is actually three courses joined together, three short courses. So it forms a sort of stepping stone approach, which we find students say really helps their confidence with their mathematics. In the first term, you would work towards your level one number award, and then you would take an exam in this in the January of year one at the college. You would then take functional skills at level one in February and work towards the level two functional skills exam in the May of year one. You can then move on to study GCSE in year two, but remember, if you've passed your Level 2 Functional Skills exam, then you actually have a qualification which is useful for applying for university, apprenticeships or employment, and can be considered by many as equivalent to GCSE at Grade 4. If you have a Grade 1 at GCSE, or indeed have never sat a GCSE in Mathematics, then we have our Entry Level 3 Functional Skills course for you. This course also has a sort of stepping stones approach and is made of three short courses joined together. You will begin with entry level three functional skills through the first term and then we'll move on to level one in both number award and functional skills. GCSE may be studied in year two following on from this course if it turns out to be appropriate for you. The final course we have is a GCSE Maths Higher course. Now, this is only available if you really need to improve the grade five or more that you have already got at GCSE. It is a short revision or tutorial style course, and most of the work is carried out independently with the support once a week from your tutor. This can be examined in November, or it can be worked towards June. It is only applicable to a few students, and remember your career or uni course have to require a GCSE maths grade of at least a six or more. When you enrol at college, you will be given extra help and guidance individually on which is the best of these courses for you, and it will give you the chance to ask any other questions that you have about GCSE or functional skills. To end with, we have some comments from students who have taken these maths courses over the past few years. We look forward to seeing you when you join us in the autumn term.